Paige HM. What's up, HSM? Welcome to Church Online. We are so excited to worship Jesus with you, have some fun, and we're starting a brand new series. Yes. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that May is off to a great start so far. Uh, this first full week of May has been legit, if I do say so myself. May the 4th be with you, the best holiday of the year in my opinion. Cinco de Mayo, and now this weekend is Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day. So shout out to my mom, Jen. Hey mom, I'm on TV or YouTube, whatever. Um, I don't know about you, Troy, but my mom is a classic mom with all the sayings or momisms, as I like to call it. So she always says things like, chicken soup will help you get better from a cold. It's not true. So she also says it's bad for you to eat before you swim. Also not true. Cool, cool. Um, eating carrots, she says, improves your eyesight. Okay, that one's actually true. That's a real one. Nice, yeah. one's got it. Um, sitting too close to the TV, she said, will always damage your eyes. Not true, mm. not true at all. So if you're watching and you have a mom who said any of these things or some other mom-isms, just nod your head. We see you, we see you. Bottom line, JGEM and HSM, this is your PSA that it is Mother's Day weekend, so be sweet to your moms. Make them breakfast, or if you're a bad cook, maybe don't do that. Um, do your chores without them asking, entertain your little siblings so that your mom can have some peace and quiet. Let your mom or the female role model you look up to in your life know how much you love and care for them. Yes, now it's time to play a game. If you've been around SSM for any amount of time, you know that we love to have fun. And today we're gonna play a game called This and That. So how this game works is we're gonna have two clues and we're gonna have to decipher the clues and then combine them together to get the correct answer. So Faith and I are gonna be playing against each other, but you guys watching will also get to try and guess and beat us as well. So we're gonna do an example. This isn't for points yet, just an example. So your first clue is Australian country singer and your other clue is hipster clothing store. Okay. Australian country singer. The only one I know is Keith Urban, and my mom actually has a huge crush on him. Nice. Uh, Keith Urban, hipster clothing store, Urban Outfitters. Keith, Keith, so Keith Urban Outfitters. Yes, okay. so the two clues, Australian country singer and hipster clothing store, the answer would be Keith Urban Outfitters. Okay, so now we're gonna actually play for points this time. Okay. So the pressure's on. So Faith, you're gonna go first. I'm, I'm gonna be guessing, let's do this, here we okay. go. Kermit's Muppet Girlfriend, that's your first clue. Okay. The second one is Childhood Savings Account. Oh gosh. Um, okay, so Kermit's Muppet Girlfriend would be Miss Piggy, obviously everybody knows that, and Childhood Savings Account, Savings Account, Bank, Piggy Bank. Uh, Miss Piggy Bank. Nice, nice, you got it. One point for Troy. All right, here we go. <laughs> Number two, your turn to guess. So your two clues are Hip Purse and Hoarder. Okay, hip purse, is that like one of those things that goes around your waist? Dang it, what's that called? Okay, and a hoarder, so someone who collects things. Ugh. Hip purse. I'm totally blanking. Okay, Ugh. let me be la last Someone's guess. Someone's my tongue, hoarder. Someone who takes stuff and oh. keeps it. Ah, no, I All right, let's see what the answer is. Fanny pack Dude. rat. Oh, okay, obviously, like a fanny pack, pack rat, got it. Got it. That's the word, fanny pack. Okay, one nothing, your turn. I'm gonna guess, here we go. Okay, so your two clues are can't eat bread and say whatever you want. Uh, okay, Ooh, can't eat bread, gluten-free, say whatever you want, free speech, gluten-free speech. Nice. The only kind of speech I like, oh. gluten-free speech. All right, here we go, number four. Here's your clues. Lump in the neck, and okay. fruity dessert. Adam's apple is the first oh. one I want to say. And apple jacks, Adam's apple jacks. Is that is it? That Adam's, oh, Adam's apple pie. Dang it! So close. Uh, Sorry. I was close. So close. All right. Last one, number five. I'm guessing on this one. Okay. So your two clues are ancient Greek and 1925 F. Scott Fitzgerald novel. Okay. 1925 F. Scott Fitzgerald novel. That's um uh. Uh, I know it, uh, it's not, it's the one with the guy and the girl, he really likes her. Great Gatsby, I know that. Okay. Nice. Uh, Alexander the Great Gatsby. Yes, come on. Dang, All nailed right. it. That was pretty hard, but Faith, I feel like you did a good job. You did a great job, actually. It's really encouraging. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of encouragement, um, this weekend we're learning all about how to encourage one another. You're doing a great job, Troy, already. Um, this brand new series we're starting is called Influencers. So we're gonna look at some of the 59 different one another statements in the Bible. And those one another statements show us how to live in community and love the people around us well. 
So this series is called Influencers because we hope that through encouraging one another, loving one another, and honoring one another, we can influence the world and make a difference. In the rest of the service, we're gonna spend some time worshiping through music, hear a great message on encouragement, worship through music a little bit more, and then close with the challenge. Make sure you listen to the challenge at the end because these one another statements can only influence the world if we live them out in our lives. Let's jump in. All we've ever thought is we could only do so much. Trusting in your power, but the truth is you're enough. There is power in your name. If we'd only believe that you are the ruler of everything, that you can do anything. If we'd only believe the ruler of everything that you would use us to do your wondrous things all we've ever done is walk by sight and not by faith But we could only run So far on our own strength There is power in your name If we'd only believe That you are the ruler of everything That you can do the ruler of everything that you would use us to do your wondrous things we will move Hey, JHM friends. Man, I miss seeing your faces so much, but I'm really glad that you're hanging out with us for church this weekend. And just think of the party that we're gonna have when we can be back in the refinery gym together finally. It's gonna be the best day of our lives, I guarantee it. Hey, we're starting a new series this week and, and the title may have caught your attention if you've seen it already. It's called Influencer. And if you're like me, the, this word immediately brings a couple things to mind. You know, the word influencer, it kind of like emerged a few years ago to describe people who have tons of followers on like social media, like Instagram or YouTube or like Pinterest or stuff like that. And usually they have some kind of like market that they focus on. Maybe it's like video games or music or makeup or fashion or travel, or maybe some of them, I think that they're, they think they're influencers just cause they're attractive or at least they think that they're attractive. And so they just post a bunch of selfies with like semi inspirational captions. Those are the confusing ones. I, I don't understand why people follow those, I'll be honest, but these social influencers attract huge amounts of followers. In fact, pop quiz really quick. Who do you think has the most followers on Instagram? Any guesses? It's Cristiano Ronaldo. If you don't know who that is, he's a soccer player from Spain 
get this, he is, at the time that we're filming this, 216 million followers. That is crazy. That's like 3% of the entire population in the world, All right? So like one out of every like 30-ish people on the planet follow a really good soccer player with massive quads on Instagram. Maybe if I work out my quads a little bit more, I can get there someday. I, probably not. Okay, you probably already knew that this series that we're doing is probably not about helping you become an influencer on social media or YouTube. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but the kind of influencers that we wanna talk about over the next few weeks are people who can have an influence in the world that goes beyond sports or video games or fashion. Actually, in the book of Matthew, there's this moment where Jesus is teaching this huge crowd of people. It's called the Sermon on the Mount. Maybe you've heard of it. And they're on this, this hillside on the Sea of Galilee, and they're overlooking the lake and then the surrounding hills. And Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14, to all the people. He says this, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one puts a lamp, lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. You are the light of the world. Like a city on the hilltop, Jesus says, it cannot be hidden. I actually got to travel uh, just a few months ago to this exact place, this exact hillside where Jesus spoke these words. And, and from this hillside, you can see across the lake to this city on a hilltop. Get it? It's a city on a hilltop, and it was actually called Hippo. Now, Hippo was a Roman city, and it was, it was the most impressive and influential city in the entire region, which is why it was built on the top of a hill, so that it could be seen from miles around. Now, Jesus tells all these people, as well as he tells it to us, reading all these years later, that we are like the city on a hill. We are the light of the world. And we should let our good deeds shine out for all to see, Jesus says, so that everybody will praise our Heavenly Father. This is the kind of influencer that Jesus wants you and I to be, influencing the world through imitating the goodness of Jesus. So that's what we're gonna be talking about over the next few weeks. How do you and I become influencers in the world for Jesus? And we're gonna get super practical. And actually, there's a bunch of these verses in the Bible, some that Jesus said, some that Paul and others said, that tell us how we can be influencers simply by how we treat one another. They're known as the one another verses because they talk about how to treat one another. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on just one of these verses every week. So for the last few minutes today, we're gonna to talk about this first one another verse. It's 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Here's what it says. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as in fact you are doing. That's it. Encourage one another and build one another up just as in fact you are doing. Pretty short and to the point, but pretty powerful at the same time. Because one of the saddest realities of our world is that people, and actually especially teenagers like yourself, receive far too much discouragement and not near enough encouragement. And you know, most people would say that they, they feel like they have too many people trying to tear them down and not enough people trying to build them up. In fact, there are some stats that back this up. I, I read a study recently about teenagers specifically that said for every one positive and encouraging thing that a teenager hears today, they hear nine negative and discouraging things. Ugh, that breaks my heart. That's a tough reality. And maybe you personally, you can attest to that. Now let's visualize this for just a second. So imagine that you are this tower of blocks. It's a nice looking tower, it's not bad, right? So imagine that when somebody says something negative to you, now whatever, whatever that might be, eventually that starts to tear down your tower, right? So you take some blocks out. Something says somebody, something mean to you, like an insult. Or maybe they say like a, a sarcastic jab to you. Or maybe they say like a rude comment on, on Instagram or something, or maybe they just say something, they, they say it's a joke, but really it's serious and, and it still hurts just the same. Eventually, those negative words over time, they tear you down until eventually it feels like, feels like there's not a whole lot left of your tower standing at all. Now, whoever said sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me, they're either straight up lying or they never went through middle school. On the flip side, 
Encouraging words, positive words, have the opposite effect to our tower. So encouraging, positive, uplifting words can actually build us up, right? They can add blocks to our tower. And they can make us eventually even stronger than they were, than they were before. So encouraging words, positive things can build up our tower and leave us stronger than we were before. And the stronger that our tower is, the more resilience that we have to the negativity that will inevitably come in life. We all know people who have this building effect on us, right? People who dump encouragement on you every single time that you're around them, right? They, they just lift you up. They make you feel better than you, than, you, than you were before you even talked to them. My question for us is what if we were all known as these kind of people? What if each one of us were known as people who built other people up and encouraged them rather than tear each other down? You and I, we have the power to either tear down each other's towers or build each other up. And like we said, most people in life are starving for encouragement. And Paul is telling you and I in this verse that as Christians, we should be the ones to give it to them. We can have a significant influence simply by encouraging the people around us and building them up rather than tearing them down. I know this sounds a little bit simple, it, really it is, but the truth is that it goes against the grain of our world because most people in our world are quick to tear each other down and slow to build each other up and encourage each other. So chances are you, you probably won't ever have more followers than Christiana on Instagram. You'll probably never break a million subscribers on YouTube. But that doesn't mean that you can't be an influencer. In fact, through Jesus, you can, and you should have an even greater and more significant influence in the world than any of those people will ever have through sports or whatever else. And one way, the first way that we're talking about today that you and I can have influence is simply by encouraging one another. So your thought for the week is this, everyone needs encouragement. Let's pray together. Jesus, would you help us be the kind of people who have influence in our world, who shine like a city on a, on a hill that cannot be hidden, that shine out with our good deeds so that everybody will see you through us. Jesus, the truth is that there's far too much discouragement and negativity in our world and not near enough encouragement. So would you help us be people of influence that reach out to our world, that build each other up, that encourage one another, that have reputations of being those kind of people rather than tearing each other down. Help us to do that. Remind us to be people of encouragement. Praise in your name, your name Jesus. Amen. Well, guys, I, I hope that you reflect on this a little bit as we worship through singing one more song together. And then I want you to stick around because my friend Hayden is gonna close us out with a little challenge for the week. Love you, JHM.
everyone needs encouragement. That's really true, especially right now. And let's be honest, we could all use some encouragement right now. And as Christians, we can be influencers simply by encouraging the people around us. Think about how different our world would be if more people were influenced by encouragement, if more people focused on building one another up rather than tearing one another down. JHM, let's be influencers this week. Here's the challenge. Write an encouraging note to 10 different people in your life and give it to them this week. Could be family members, friends, teachers, life group leaders, whoever you feel like could use some encouragement. Maybe you could use some encouragement or prayer yourself. If that's you, the JHM team would love to connect with you through the online prayer card linked in the description below. Or if you want to dive deeper into this message on your own this week, you can click on the other link in the description as well. It's been awesome doing church together this weekend. I hope you have a great week, JHM. See you all next week. <laughs>